In this video, we will talk about the buzz that the two electric vehicle companies, NIO and Mullen Automotive are making in the stock market. Hey there! I will compare the two electric vehicle companies, NIO and Mullen Automotive. Both companies have the potential for growth in the next few years and can save you money in the long run. So, which electric vehicle company is a better investment? Stay tuned to find out, but don't rush too fast. Have you an idea what NIO is ranked as car maker worldwide? We will surprise you with a juicy answer at the end. Therefore, give us your prediction in the comments. So, who are NIO and Mullen Automotive, and what do they do? NIO is a young company that was founded in 2014. They've quickly become one of the leading electric vehicle companies in the world, and they have a lot of potential for growth in the next few years. Mullen Automotive is a bit older, having been founded in 2007. However, they're quickly catching up to NIO and it is expected that these two sharks will rule the automotive industry soon. Both companies are gaining massive popularity due to their innovative technologies and commitment to providing excellent customer service. NIO is particularly well known for its high performance electric cars, while Mullen Automotive is known for its affordable electric vehicles. NIO and Mullen Automotive are quickly making a name for themselves in the electric vehicle industry. They're both innovators and have considered having a bright future when it turns to profit in the coming years. Both companies are committed to providing excellent customer service and have a lot of growth potential shortly. They're sure to provide superior products and services to their customers. How have their stocks performed in the past year or so, and why is this important for investors and EV enthusiasts to know? Shares of the emerging electric vehicle manufacturer, Mullen Automotive, have had a roller coaster ride in 2022. Mullen Automotive stock jumped over 118% in the last couple of trading days. Despite this gain, Mullen stock is still down about 89% year-to-date. While Mullen could benefit from secular industry trends, it is in a development stage, and worries around access to capital, equity dilution, and increased competition will remain a drag on this microcap company, which market cap is about $100 million. As we highlighted in the beginning, Mullen automotive stock could benefit from growing EV adoption and favorable policies. Also, MULN secured exclusive sales, distribution, and branding rights for IGO, a compact urban delivery EV for sale in select European markets, including the UK, Spain, France, Germany, and Ireland. The move brings revenue generation opportunities for the company and should support its stock price. By the way, if you are still watching, thank you for that. And do not forget to subscribe to discover the latest financial and economic news. If that's done let's keep going. Mullen CEO, David Mishiri, said that essentially, this transaction provides the company with revenue-generating opportunities and promotes and extends the company's brand into other countries while at the same time allowing the company to remain fully focused on its mission of manufacturing its lineup of electric vehicles in the USA. Further, Mullen is optimizing its manufacturing and expanding its production capabilities by acquiring Elms Manufacturing Plant. Though these moves are expected to support its growth, the company plans to continue to raise additional capital, as it is in the development stage, through equity and debt financing. The dilution from the issuance of new shares has weighed on Mullen stock and will likely restrict the upside in the future. On the other hand, NIO targets a booming market for electric cars. The Chinese EV startup is preparing a year-end sales push, and shares soared on November 11 as China eased its zero-COVID policy. So, now the question arises, is NIO stock a buy? See, on November 11, Beijing relaxed some of its zero-COVID policy restrictions, sparking a big rally for China stocks. But some major manufacturing hubs remain in partial or total lockdowns. NIO temporarily shut down production at its Hefei factories in October due to China's COVID restrictions. A day earlier, NIO posted a far worse than expected Q3 loss. But the Chinese startup predicted record deliveries and revenue acceleration in Q4, defying worries about COVID curbs and EV competition. 
New Neo EVs include the full-size 7 sedan, mid-size E5 sedan, and ES7 SUV. In October, Neo officially launched those models in Europe after a pilot run in Norway. Older generation models, including the ES6, ES8, and EC6 SUVs, will be refreshed over the next year. CFRA analyst Lim Jianxiong wrote a November 11th note, in 2023, we project revenue to grow 101% on stronger sales of new models and, recent launch, in Europe, where NEO's leasing option will increase car affordability. Fact set shows that analysts expect an average of 87% revenue growth next year. The analyst maintained a buy rating on NEO stock. But Xiong cut the price target to $15 from $24, citing higher competition and China's COVID policy. NEO targets the premium EV market but is reportedly mulling a mass-market EV. The long-rumored, affordable NEO EV could attract a new user base. NEO also plans to make its battery pack starting in 2024. Both companies, NEO and Mullen, are leaders in electric vehicles and have made significant strides in recent years. However, some critical differences between the two could impact their stock prices in the future. For one thing, NEO focuses on the Chinese market, while Mullen concentrates on the US market. This gives NEO a potential growth advantage, as China's economy is still booming. However, it also means that NEO is more vulnerable to a possible slowdown in China's economy. Mullen, on the other hand, is less exposed to this risk. Another key difference is that NEO relies heavily on government subsidies to support its business, while Mullen does not. This could become an issue if government subsidies are reduced or eliminated in the future. Finally, NEO has yet to profit, while Mullen has been profitable for several years. This could make Mullen a more attractive investment for risk-averse investors. Only time will tell how these factors will affect the stock prices of these two companies. Who will make times 10 in terms of the stock price in the future? With Tesla leading the way, electric vehicles are poised to take over the automotive market in the coming years. But who will be the big winners in this transition? Some experts believe it will be Neo and Mullen Automotive. So, which one is more likely to make 10 times in the future? NIO, which is a Chinese company that manufactures premium electric vehicles, has already seen tremendous success in its home market and is now expanding into other countries. The company's stock price has quadrupled since December 2020 and shows no signs of slowing down. Mullen Automotive is a Canadian company that makes electric buses and trucks. It has also seen its stock price skyrocket in recent months, and some experts believe it could continue to rise as the demand for electric vehicles grows. So, which one is more likely to make 10 times in the future? Only time will tell, but NEO and Mullen Automotive both seem good bets against Tesla for sure. With these companies taking the heat off the ground, and the details we wrapped up in our video. Now you are a pro to make a decision decide what suits you in terms of investment and go ahead. But don't forget to look out for the Chinese economy while making a hit at NEO. Now, it's time for the promised answer from beginning. Nah, did you make your guess? You will be shocked to hear that NEO is now in the world's top 15 largest automakers in terms of market value. That puts it ahead of the likes of Hyundai, Kia, Volvo, Nissan, and Renault. Who do you think will take the stocks by storm? Will Neo be the future, or Mullen take the lead? Thank you for watching our video. For more exciting facts about the world of technology, subscribe to us and hit the bell icons to stay on top of the world's economic and finance latest news.